Hey guys, Chef Rebe here with The Herbs Kitchen. Today we have an amazing recipe for you. This is a creamy lime cilantro tahini. Trusty blender is all you'll need for this recipe. And I have my mason jar for storage. Again, this is something that you can purchase ahead of time, that you can store your fruits, your veggies, your sauces, just about anything that goes into your refrigerator in a uniform space. So we're gonna open this because that's where we're gonna put our end product. For the tahini, it's sesame seed base. You can buy this already prepared. This is a great product that you can keep in your pantry for recipes exactly like this. So into our blender, we will add the tahini. Don't worry about the paste in the bottom. You can scrape that out with a spoon. The more, the merrier. Here we have our lime juice. This is a juice of one lime, fresh squeezed. One quarter cup of water. This is going to help thin out the sesame seed paste, which is extremely thick. That's what's gonna give our dressing its body. Garlic, can't have tahini without garlic. This is a vital flavor profile. This is going to enlisted all those flavors that you expect from the tahini, the natural seed mixed with cilantro. So this is gonna be something that you're not completely used to, but a different flavor profile that is bright and green. So into the blender, we have our garlic. And right behind that, about 10 stalks of picked cilantro. You don't have to chop it, the blender will do that for you. To season this, we have a teaspoon of some pink Himalayan salt, and lastly, some oil. With the oil, just with all salad dressings, you wanna add the oil last, and you wanna add it slowly. This is what's going to help increase the volume. As more air spins around is incorporated into your dressing or your sauces, it's going to what we call bloom, which is to grow, and the oil, the fat of the oil, is gonna help that build. So into our blender, always start on the low speed, make sure it's off. Once it's starting to spin, you can increase the speed. That's when we'll add our oil. Increasing the speed until we get the desired volume. At this point, we can do a visual check. We can see that the cilantro has to begin breaking down. We can see those flecks that we look for. Again, this is a homemade product, so there are no preservatives in it. So the thickening agents that are used in store-bought products will change the texture of store-bought tahinis or sauces. Since it's homemade, you can control that. If you would like a thicker tahini, you can add more tahini paste, or you can add garbanzo beans or chickpeas. For this recipe here, as a salad dressing, this is the viscosity or the thickness you're looking for. Something that you're able to pour onto your salad, onto your fruits and veggies. If you want a savory fruit salad or a vegetable salad with the salad dressing, this tahini is a perfect dressing. As a dip, you can add more tahini and less water. It'll be thicker for your vegetables like your cucumbers, your carrots. If you like this video and like to see more, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell icon in the corner. Make sure you follow us at www.dherbs.com forward slash Enjoy.